Hi everybody. The 2024 Q8 e-tron, formerly known as the e-tron, will make it simple for you to switch to an electric vehicle if you currently drive an Audi Q7 or Q8 SUV. The Q8 e-tron has strong acceleration, but it's not as quick as rivals like the BMW 9, Jaguar I-Pace, or Tesla Model X. There is also an SQ8 e-tron, which has 496 horsepower and is reviewed separately. The quiet cabin of the Q8 e-tron is dotted with high-tech features, as Audi aficionados have come to expect. The Q8 e-tron's battery pack offers a usable real-world driving range that promises to be competitive with that of other luxury EV SUVs, regardless of the body style you choose. What happens in 2024? To avoid confusion with other members of Audi's expanding EV lineup, all of which use some form of the e-tron name, the e-tron and e-tron sportback SUVs have been renamed the Q8 e-tron and Q8 e-tron sportback for 2024. In honor of the occasion, Audi has given the SUVs a new look with a new grille, new lighting elements, and new wheel designs. The Q8 e-tron models should have more range and be better able to compete with rivals thanks to the addition of a larger battery pack of 106.0 kWh. The SQ8 e-tron, which we discussed separately, replaces the higher performance S e-tron model that was offered last year. We have previously recommended the entry-level premium trims of the 2024 Q8 e-tron because they offer a comprehensive suite of standard features at a reasonable price for a luxury EV SUV. However, Audi has not disclosed any pricing information for the models. The Q8 e-tron impressed us on the road with its quickness and control. Its braking system seamlessly combined the mandatory regenerative brake system with traditional friction brakes. The Q8 e-tron's estimated range would be comparable to that of rivals like the I-Pace and Model X if that estimation is correct. Each e-tron has a 170 kW fast charger that can charge 80% of its battery in about 30 minutes. Real-world MPGE and fuel economy The EPA has not yet released estimates for the 2024 Q8 e-tron SUV's fuel economy, but we anticipate that they will be comparable to those of the 2023 model, which was rated for up to 78 MPGE in the city and 79 MPGE on the highway. As part of our extensive testing schedule, we will test the Q8 e-tron on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy route when we get a chance, and we will update the story with the results. Visit the EPA's website to learn more about the e-tron's fuel economy. The Q8 e-tron's most impressive technology is its electrified systems, but the five-seat crossover also has a cutting edge and useful cabin and cargo multiple high-resolution screens fill the dashboard, including two flush-mounted touch screens in the middle and Audi's digital gauge cluster, called Virtual Cockpit. Naturally, the Q8 e-tron's refined interior is further enhanced by a number of high-end options, including a head-up display and massaging front seats. The vehicle's underfloor battery pack, which is neatly packaged, allows for a flat floor. This contributes to the regular Q8 e-tron's spacious cargo area, which measures 57 cubic feet when the seat backs are folded flat and 29 cubic feet behind the back row. We still manage to fit 7 carry-on suitcases behind the Sportback's rear seats, one less than in the regular e-tron despite the Sportback's sloping roofline reducing both figures by two cubes. 
visit the websites of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety for additional information regarding the outcomes of the crash tests conducted on the Q8 e-tron SUV and Q8 e-tron Sportback. The limited warranty lasts for 4 years, or 50,000 miles. The powertrain warranty lasts for 4 years, or 50,000 miles. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.